Namaste to all. Thanks for this opportunity. I am Chandrasekhar Gowda, representing Sulo Chanatapra Foundation, a not-for-profit social impact creation organization. Today, I'll be sharing our experience of working with Gram Panchayats on the issues of nutrition and, more importantly, on convergence at village level. So, what are we trying to achieve in this initiative? So, we all know Gram Panchayat is a constitutional body and the smallest governing unit in our country. So we at STF believe that this institution needs to be harnessed to make a meaningful difference to the nutrition outcomes at GP level, right? So we set out to pilot a project to strengthen the abilities of GPs so that it contributes to the existing efforts to create a nutrition uh, outcomes. Now, how can a GP do this, right? We, we came up with a four point program and said, look, the GP will have to mainstream the agenda of nutrition in all GP discourse. We feel that's very, very important. Not just talking, but they should also enhance allocation of resources and not just enhance allocation, but also increase the spend, right? Third thing that we thought was they should mentor the Anganwadi centers, the Sevikas, the VHSNC, the PHC, any institutions that are part and parcel of the village ecosystem will have to be managed, mentored, and monitored by the Gram Panchayat. Now, uh, the fourth point is to bring together various schemes by coordinating with various departments um, to ensure that the most vulnerable communities get the scheme benefits that is out there for them. In order to achieve a meaningful uh, convergence, we need to work at all levels, top, intermediary, and bottom. So we work at district level in terms of building a convergence action plan or facilitating a convergence action plan at block level again uh, the same thing and at village level we focus largely on uh, building capacities and hand holding support uh, to the GP members and to the GP as an institution in order for them to deliver what needs to be delivered and more importantly uh, act as an agency for converging actions. As part of our intervention, we wanted a strong GP, a GP that focuses intensely on nutrition outcomes. So hence, in order for us to achieve that, we took the organizational development route in order to make GP into a new age organization that is guided by vision, mission, system, processes, and more importantly, people-centric. We believed that you know this will strengthen the institution inside out along with these we also try to layer the agenda of nutrition throughout these steps. Now, we have nine steps for us to achieve what we set out to achieve. The first step is to set the context of the village. Now, this is nothing but a situation risk assessment. We went deeper into what the village already has, the GP already has, and what it doesn't have, and what it needs to have. We also intensely focused on the health and uh, nutrition uh, status. Uh, which is seldom looked at by the GP members, right? And uh, this particular uh, data when presented back to them is where, when it uh, sets a context saying that, yes, we have an issue with the health, we have an issue with the nutrition outcomes. And that is where the um, GP members start accepting the reality. Once that happens, then we go to the MOU part. In the MOU part, um, this is this clearly says, sets the context and as well as ex expectation from all the parties, right? Once that is done, we then look at uh, profiling GP members uh, to look at what are the strengths and uh, in terms of you know uh, focusing on leadership building. We also do legal studies just to look at you know what are the uh, acts, orders, circulars, everything that pertaining to nutrition or otherwise. Then we focus on uh, organization mapping. This is basically for GP members to learn about GP structure and functioning, self-assessment by GP uh, about various aspects, and also look at uh, analyzing their own GPDP plan. That's Gram Panchayat Development Plan. Uh, then what we look at is we encourage them to uh, start small but very significant um, uh, programs, such as even smallest thing of you know, starting a solution box um, uh, at the GP level or at the Anganwadi Center, uh, secondly, to have a purposeful visits uh, to Anganwadi Centers, right? And these actually builds them uh, with some confidence. So once we, we have this, then we look at uh, bringing all leaders together and setting up um, a process to evolve a vision 
and a mission right that is from a overall holistic development perspective what we also do is cleverly uh, infuse the agenda of health and nutrition into the entire vision building process so once that is done then we focus on uh, developing plan plan of action and more importantly helping them with gptp as opportunity presents so gptp uh, actually has all the elements of visioning built into it we also developed uh, low cost and no cost activities which has already got into gptp um, processes and now it is kind of a legal document out there once that is done then we help them with implementation now in all these processes what we look at is we keep hammering the agenda of nutrition agenda of health uh, into uh, the plan process so that it stays as top of mind uh, recall and top agenda this strategy as i just discussed uh, in the previous slide was implemented in four blocks of gachiroli district maharashtra covering 13 gram panchayats 111 villages 145 community centers and 257 gp members so what did we learn from uh, the pilot we learned that you know gp prefers infrastructure building over any other uh, issues of intangibility the second thing is uh, looking at uh, their top priority was always water housing electricity education and comes health and health it is largely to do with other aspect but least to do with nutrition related while people are willing to implement programs on nutrition and uh, take take the programs forward they always prefer ready to use tool they just ask tell us what to do and we will do it and uh, many uh, expects a direction from the top a government order to this, to, to this effect of implementing nutrition programs is is what they prefer and once they get directions from top they would implement it right now the entire od process that we looked at is one stream of our program now having said that there are organizations meaning the gram panchayats who are willing to walk that complete uh, journey and be stronger from inside out now there are few who don't have that kind of time nor uh, resources or or you know uh, patience to do it so we have come up with a a convergence light program for those who prefer fast tracking of uh, agenda of nutrition based on the learnings we kept things that worked well and at the same time we also added a few new one of them being development of three simple mentoring tools for gp members the simple mentoring tools that we have uh, implemented in uh, 39 gps are related to a nutrition discussion guide to be used during gp monthly meetings this is a simple smart 10 questions which gp mem members will have to ask each other and also the visiting um, uh, member which such as uh, the nanwadi workers on the status of nutrition in the villages so over a period of 6 to 7 meetings these questions will actually become part of uh the process the second thing uh that we developed is a tool to mentor and monitor and nobody centers they were random visits they were uh, visits just just like that so we we then focused on making all of this visit a purposeful visit a checklist which will help them understand what needs to be asked and how it needs to be asked and what i need to do with the data that gets generated and how and how i can help that's the second tool the third tool that we have is tool to mentor and monitor bhsnc so these are three simple tools uh, which are checklist based which are question based which are just like a tick mark which actually helps the gram panchayat to mentor and to monitor the institutions that deliver nutrition related services by doing so what happens is there's a lot of uh, trust that gets generated and also the interaction actually improves a lot leading to some meaningful actions and at the same time we continue to facilitate a gram panchayat development plan uh, and uh, help them with uh, improved uh, allocation of resources which also included no cost uh, activities and low cost activities some of the changes that we have observed based on quick dip study uh, which needs further validation uh, as such is there is improved monthly supervision visit by gram panchayat members to amenity centers 
and the participation which is in C. And uh, most members uh, know the status of health uh, in the Anganwadi centers and in overall uh, GP. 106 villages uh, reconstituted with HSNC as per the new guidelines, included low cost and no cost uh, activities um, in GPDP. And uh, they started focusing on the most vulnerable families um, to coordinate with various departments to access social protection programs. Based on the pilot and its finding in 31 GPs, the uh, Gachiruli administration has invited us to scale up this information across the district covering 420 GPs. The work is underway. We are also planning to build an Android app to administer three simple mentoring tools along with other useful nutrition related uh, information. Uh, we intend to scale this up across the uh, state of Maharashtra in coming days. So with this, I end the presentation and uh, thanks a lot for uh, your time and this opportunity.